Angela Polina, charged with second-degree murder and child endangerment, took the stand again today to defend herself from the allegations that her actions led to the death of eight-year-old Thomas Valva. The boy was the son of Polina's fiancé, Michael Valva, an ex-NYPD cop found guilty of the same charges late last year. He's serving 25 years to life. She's giving her side of the story. She wanted that. I, don't, I mean, there was some issues, some questioning, but yeah, she wanted to get up and, you know, she's nervous about it, but she's going to say what she has to say. Chief Homicide Bureau Prosecutor Carrie Ann Kelly grilled Polina in rapid-fire questioning. Among admissions of wrongdoing were the prosecutor asking, you deleted all of the video that could have shown what happened to Thomas that morning? Yes, Polina answered. She was referring to hours of Nest Cam video from rooms inside the home Polina shared with Michael Valva, including a camera in the garage where the boy and his brother were forced to sleep, even though it was 19 degrees outside on the January day the boy died. Along with video, there are dozens of transcripts of text messages in evidence. Referring to one of many similar texts, the prosecutor said, Ms. Polina, it's fair to say in your own words, the boys were dirty, filthy, and stinky, right? They were, Polina said on the stand. She and her attorney say that while she admits to abusive behavior, she is not responsible for eight-year-old Thomas Valva's death. We're going to lay it all on the line and we're going to be transparent. we got nothing to hide. She's going to own up to you know, what she did and, and say what she didn't do. He said that he'll spend Thursday morning questioning her and noting that in court on Wednesday, some of the video evidence showed Thomas and his brother shivering on the garage floor. You can see why there is an emphasis by the defense to give her one last chance to make her defense.